Hello and welcome to part 2 of my F1 22 driver career mode. Here today for part 2 at the Miami Grand Prix as we're driving for Alpine alongside Fernando Alonso. As you see we're in qualifying and at the Miami track that at least to me looks like somewhere's just stamped on the Brazilian Grand Prix I've probably just ruined that for you and you'll probably never be able to see that again Let's go to the race Formula One has arrived in the Sunshine State for spectacular sunsets, gentle breezes, warm waters and for what will be a fantastic race day here at the Miami International Autodrome Sitting at the southeastern coast of Florida, the Miami International Autodrome has 19 corners and 3.36 miles of racing. It's a circuit designed to encourage close racing while meeting the highest safety standards. Either way, I am sure it's one which will please the fans. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole. A very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Verstappen, Russell, Pierre Gasly, and Perez, Bottas, Magnussen, Norris, and Guan Yu Zhou, Brown, Fernando Alonso, Sir Lewis Hamilton, and Mick Schumacher, Sonoda, Stroll, Alex Albon, and Daniel Ricciardo, Vettel and Nicholas Latifi. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box and it's fantastic to have you here with us today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It will keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. So we somehow ended up with the same top three as real life in the exact same order. But we're doing a one stop and we are ready for the five red lights here in Miami for the first time. They're underway here in Miami. And we look like we've got a ginger and start just trying to hold back and get very messy into turn one. And we're alongside Fernando. I forgot the drop then though, we haven't not just yet. Side by side we go with from wide. We're on the outside of Fernando. Now we're on the back of Brand New Joe. A uh, bit of a rivalry with him in F1 2020. And we're still not letting that go. But anyway, back to this game. And we're on the back of them now, going around the fake marina and now down the inside at the end of that straight. As now we're on the back of Lando Norris, heading down to the final corner, and we are going to send it down the inside of our former Brit. And we get the job done. And now it's home world to wheel with, with Joe Guanyu, who's got had a big crash in real life at the British Grand Prix a couple of days ago and down the inside Lando Norris holds on for now as we can get after Kevin Magnussen as we're kind of stuck in the DRS train behind Pete Gasly who's dealing with Bottas and we are dealing with Kevin Magnussen down the straight we go Bottas goes to the outside of Pierre Gasly as we send it on Kevin Magnussen we had a battle with in Australia but we've got that job done and now we can get after Gasly and Bottas but Bottas now they still side by side the wreck was there ahead in Perez and Bottas does get the job done as Yuki Sonoda on lap 5 pulls off to the side and is out of the Miami Grand Prix he had those issues in Australia so maybe they haven't been able to fix them in time and that Honda 
Badge Red Bull is gone on him again and this time it's terminal he finished in Australia it's now on the back of Pete Gasly we were just grinding away and this time we were close enough to send it down the inside into the final corner and it's jumped in on Mr Gasly and now can we get after Valtteri Bottas but unfortunately not because so hard to bring the DRS as Gasly looks like it's gone a bit wide and Magnus and thought about it but no way through and now through the essay Jean Murray made contact with Lando Norris in real life and now to the inside and now down the inside into this don't even know what to call it in this section but we're going to hold our line around the outside Horrible camera angle and we do stay ahead of Pete Gasly through the very tight UK and I feel like it's so much tighter than it looked on, on the telly and now Gasly to the outside and Gasly's got the job done or he's thought as we send it back down his inside we were clever we took back into his slipstream but he's held it Round the outside as we went a little bit deep and we have stayed ahead there just just ahead it's now here comes big ghastly again at the inside this is what i mean it was so hard to break the drs so bottas was miles at the road at this point he's now through the chicane and now through this 90 degree left under and we have made a small mistake and this could be costly a little mistake can be very costly as Gasly is on our outside and Gasly this time side by side look at the difference in straight line speed but we send it to the inside there's contact as we went deep we're, we're barging with Pierre Gasly and I know Kevin Magnussen is having a job as well down the inside Magnussen we made contact surely there was contact there as Madison said in very late on Gasly and me as well and Gasly's come back at him and they're side by side free the S H from the go and now round the fake marina where the water is more real in the game than it is in real life Magnussen got through and Gasly and now Magnussen has overtaken us into the left hander again I tried to come back it wasn't a good option but we've managed to stick with him and down the inside on that 13 we've locked up we've somehow got the thing slowed down as now everyone pits and you can see Lewis Hamilton there in the background he had a horrendous qualifying and just got stuck in his DRS train as we time the pits up to perfection get it purple as we come out through the Williams of I think that was Alex Albon I know out of the pits is very important as we learned from Australia to get the tyres warmed up as quickly as humanly possible and now we have a big snap of oversteer not once but twice as we go wide now go around the fake marina and now, and now Magnussen we see he's just trying to go to the outside Magnussen all this contact I think there was contact there with Magnussen he's out to the Grand Prix I thought it may be due to contact with us maybe suspension but no that Ferrari engine has gone bang Magnussen out to the Grand Prix and this is Lando and Fernando coming out of the pits they stayed out an extra lap and the overcut 
has won wonders. And Fernando Alonso, who was way, way back in a DRS train, is in front of us. Lewis Hamilton has gained some places. And now, hopefully, Alonso sees the bigger picture as we go around his outside. He backs out of it. And now, we can get on to try and catch Lando Norris. We're catching him, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're gonna go to the inside. And Lando Norris gets the job done. And Fernando pokes his nose up the inside. And Alonso has done it on Lando Norris. And Lando, after attacking one Alpine, has lost out to both of us. And now Fernando on the outside of us and there's no point fighting him, he is, although annoyingly, the quicker Alpine, so we might as well let him go and we can finish rolling of, of uh, the DRS train, uh, Fernando train, maybe it can be a brown train, we shall see. As Lando had a little look, and now Lando in a slipstream, DRS is going to send it to the inside. Now he's only goes to contact. We are pushed off the track. Through goes Hamilton and gets past both of us. And Lando, what has he done there? He made contact for the second time with a car in the Grand Prix. Earlier, Maxson, now it's Lando. What has happened into Tom Orlando locked up? And he's nearly at Hamilton. Lando's locked up and gone. Slid straight into the side of us. Looking not to have any damage. And you can see Lewis is well up the road now. As Lando goes to our inside again. We cut him wide. And we are going to keep it pinned around the outside but Lando got through, through the chicane and now onto the back straight and can we re-overtake our fellow Brit? This is our, our driver line view of it down the back straight and now we're going to swap him the dummy and we're going to go to the outside of Lando Norris and we have got the job done there. And now, here he comes back at us though, one lap later. To the outside, we pray late. For us in the long way round. And he's got deep and Joe Fran Yu. It's found his way through on Lando. And now, Lando's not having that though. As he thinks about to the inside, he's too far back. As Mitch Schumacher is in the mix again now. And this battle these two were having allowed me to finally break the DRS and get some breathing space. As Lando goes round the outside of Joe. And getting it to the outside. As now Mitch Schumacher sends it on Joe Granu and Lando Norris. But Lando holds on Joe Granu though does lose out to the remaining hours in the Grand Prix. Lando's not safe though. Here comes M Mick Schumacher. He got his first points in Australia when he just beat us. And now, side by side, round the outside. They said you couldn't overtake that again. Mick Schumacher didn't hear that part. And it's through on Lando Norris. On lap 22. Lando's going to come back at him though. Mick goes defensive. Lando to the outside. But Lando's too far back. Or is he? As he goes to the outside. Around the outside. 
beautiful move by Lando Norris on Min Schumacher. And Min Schumacher's too far back to do anything there. And now Lando's pulled in. Small gap. But it has been an easy race for Charles Leclerc, who's going to win the first ever Miami Grand Prix. Carlos Sainz is just going to clear George Russell to make it another Ferrari 1 2. A Ferrari 1 2. George third, and we are going to hold on. For our first point of the career mode for P9. Well, what a drive that was to take the win for Ferrari today. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix. And they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. So let's discuss, Ant. Who would you say is a contender for your driver of the day? It's got to be Lewis Hamilton. So that's, that's been the Miami Grand Prix then. Pretty decent Grand Prix. Good to get our first points on the board at the career mode and the season. Now here is standing, just eight points in it between Sainz and Leclerc. We've moved up into P10 and here's the constructors. Ferrari lead but that's been your Miami Grand Prix then hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe we head to Spain for the next Grand Prix and I hope I see you then goodbye